We ask ourselves many questions every day. These same questions affect our focus, thinking, and emotions. One of the world's greatest psychologists says, Asking the right questions was one of the basic tools I used to transform my life. I no longer asked myself, Why is there no fairness? Or why my plans and dreams do not come true? Instead, I asked questions that would give me valuable and practical answers. I first devised questions to solve the problems. These questions help me to look for a solution whenever there is a problem and find it. My problem solving questions were 1. What is the good point of this problem? 2. What is the cause of this problem? 3. What am I willing to do to change this situation in my favor? 4. What am I willing to do from now on to change this situation in my favor? 5. How can I enjoy this work while changing the position and solving the problem? If you have trouble answering the above questions, use the word can. Like, what aspect of my life can I be happiest about right now? I also have questions I ask myself in the morning when I wake up and other questions for the night before I go to bed. They make me feel good all day, and at the end of the day, I go to sleep with a calm and confident mind. Invigorating morning questions. 1. What makes me happy in my life right now? And why does it make me happy? And what kind of happiness does this give me? 2. What excites me in life right now? Why? How does this excitement make me feel? 3. What am I proud of in my life right now? What is the reason for this honor? How does this honor make me feel? 4. What am I thankful for in life right now? Which feature makes me grateful? And how do I feel about it? 5. What do I enjoy the most in life right now? Where does this pleasure come from? How does enjoying this make me feel? 6. What is my responsibility in life now? What is the reason for this responsibility? How does it make me feel? 7. Who do I like? Who loves me? Why do I want to love others? How does this make me feel? Invigorating evening questions. 1. What have I given to others today? In what ways have I been a giver today? 2. What have I learned today? 3. How has the quality of my life improved today? 4. How can I use today as an investment for the future? When you learn how to ask empowering questions, you can help yourself and others. One day in New York, one of my friends, a business consultant, invited me to lunch. He was a skilled lawyer, and I admired him for his sit the successful business he had built up with great effort since his youth. But that day, he said, his professional position had suffered a fatal blow. His business partner had left the firm, leaving him with a mountain of responsibility, with little knowledge of how to manage. I told him that you are the cause of all your disabilities. You can be a loving, generous, and honorable person. You can be an understanding parent, a close friend, or a reliable, hardworking, and loyal employee. And if you can't, quit and look for another job. This way, you will do your boss and yourself a great favor. You could be more precise in choosing your business partner by asking the right questions so that you are not alone with a mountain of problems today. It all depends on you and the questions you ask yourself and others. You can be whoever you want to be. By accepting that questions are answers and by asking probing questions and providing appropriate solutions, change takes place in you. In many cases, by changing yourself, you also change those around you. Remember, if you want to teach others to love, love them. If you want them to gain confidence, give them courage. If you want them to be honest, tell the truth. If you want them to be forgiving, forgive your part. If you want them to be patient, be patient, and if you want them to be satisfied, establish an understanding. You may not be able to approve of others, but you can react to them. If you allow someone to bother you, the problem is your own.
You may not be able to change the behavior of others, but you can change your reaction to their behavior. In short, you must accept that you are an imperfect and fallible human being. This should not cause you to stop trying to improve. But you will know that you will probably never be able to score 100 points in all areas where there was self testing. Now, if you realize and truly accept that you are not perfect, wouldn't it be easier for you to accept and understand the faults of others?